A storage container is in the shape of a right circular cone. The container has a volume of 8640pi. So we can pause right there. The volume of a cone is on our equation sheet. And if they ever give us like a value for that, we always want to set it equal. So we can say that 8640pi is equal to the volume of the cone equation, again, on our equation sheet, which is one third pi r squared times h, our height and our radius. Next, they tell us the area of its circular base. So I think, you know, maybe having a little bit of a picture. So here's our circular base. And here would be like the cone aspect. And then the height of the cone is going to be from the center of our circular base up to the top. And they tell us this, the area of the circular base down here is going to be 324 pi. Also on your equation sheet, don't forget, we have the area of a circle and that's going to be the pi r squared part. So what they're actually saying is if this part is 324 pi, well then we could divide both sides by that and we could solve for the one third height or especially just the height, right? So if I, I divide 8640 divided by 324 because the pi's are just going to cancel out, we get not the nicest number. We're going to get like 26 and two thirds is equal to one third height. So then I would multiply this number by three and we are going to get a nice number now. I'm going to get 80 is equal to my height. So we can start to label stuff now. We know that our height here is going to be 80. We can actually use this to solve for our radius too. We can say pi r squared is equal to 324 pi. Cancel out your pi's and then I can take the square root of 324 and I get 18. So we just solved for our radius as well. That's going to be down here. That radius is 18. And then finally, reading the rest of the question, they say, what is the slant height? So don't get your slant height confused with your actual height of your cone. Your height of the cone is if you're looking at it from like the front, your slant height is this right here, which is just the hypotenuse of our triangle that involves our true height and our radius. So all I have to do is 80 squared uh, plus 18 squared. And then I can do the square root of that. That's just Pythagorean's theorem. So 18 squared, that got us the 324. And then the 80 squared, that gets a 6,400. So that plus 324. And then if I take the square root of that, we should get 82 for our slant height.